Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to International Research Class. For our discussion today, based on the one research article that published in the International Journal, namely International Journal of Climatology, with the title A Comprehensive Study on the Bayesian Modeling of Extreme Rainfall, a case study from Pakistan. In this research article, the author tried to use the DEV distribution to mix modeling using the extreme rainfall data. In this research, in this research article, when we are read the abstract, there is some methods to the estimate parameter of GEV distribution, such as maximum likelihood, okay, such as maximum likelihood, L moment or linear moment, and then Markov chain Monte Carlo. We have discussed about the three kind, the methods to the estimate the parameter, especially for GEV distribution. You can join with the www.radoinstitute.com and you can find some information about the, the three method to the estimate the GEV distribution, like the maximum likelihood, linear method, linear moment, or, or L moment, and the Bayesian Markov chain Monte Carlo. So, in the Rado Institute, we have the produce the best programming. We are use the R programming to solve to the estimate the parameter using the linear moment, maximum likelihood, and the Bayesian MCMC. So. In this time, we will try to use that R programming to solve this research article. Okay. In this research article, the author used the black block maxima to try to, to try to produce the extreme rainfall blocks maxima. It means you must take the maximum rainfall for the each year. Okay, you can check in the 2.2 block, block maxima. Block maxima, it means you must take the extreme or the maximum rainfall for the each year. So if you have the 30 years data, rainfall data, Automatically, you have the 30 extreme rainfall. Okay? In the 2.3, this is the theoretical about the GEV distribution. What is the density GEV? What is the log likelihood? And another information about the GEV. Okay. For this time, we will solve this problem with the R programming that have we produced to this sums problem in the another time. Okay. For this discussion today, we will use the rainfall, the daily rainfall in the Pekanbaru city. Pekanbaru city is the once metropolitan town in the Indonesian. We use the Pekanbaru daily rainfall. Okay, we try to check our R programming first. Okay, this is our R programming. The best programming because we are use the three methods to the estimates parameter of GEV distribution. Okay. The first time we must run our data. Okay, we try to run our data. Okay, you can run here. You can 
use the pokan baru rainfall data. Okay, we check our data. Okay, this one. Okay, we comes to the console, so we put the hit data because all we all we want checks only the hit of the data. So you can check here. There are four columns. The first column for the years, the second column for the months, the third column for the, the date, on the fourth column for the hour data. And then we type the tile data, the tile data, we want to check the last data. Okay. We have the 6,940 data. Start from the 1990 and the last 2000 X. So it's mean we must try to produce the best art programming only specially for the maximum data for the each years. So we are success to the produce the, the programming, of course, like this one. Data PKB, and then until this is data PKB, it mean we are trying to create the R programming only for the maximum for the eight years. So we call them the our program state observe. State observe is mean the programming only to find the maximum data for the each years in the Pekanbaru rainfall data. So you can check this programming. We can run here. We can run programming. Okay, we check in the console. Okay, the programming success to run. And we try to check the, the output of this programming. The output we call DMAX. DMAX, we, we run our DMAX. So we check the console again. So we type DMAX. Okay, we run DMAX. So you can check here, there is 16. 16 data for the maximum data only for the uh, for the rainfall data in the Bukan Baru. So you can check here, this is only the maximum rainfall for the each year, starting in the 1990, and stop in the 2000X. This is very simple programming, but this is the key of this reset. If we have this data, so automatically we can use this, the programming for the estimate the parameters like the L moment, Bayesian MCMC, and the maximum likelihood. Okay. In our programming, we use DMAX for the maximum likelihood, and we use that, that for the Bayesian Markov chain. And then we use DTT for the L moment. Okay. So you can check here DMAX or Z or DTT, the same value. We try to make the different names because we have the different methods in the estimate, the GEV distribution parameter. Like I said before, we I use the maximum likelihood. We use a Bayesian MCMC and we use the L moment. So that's why we try to make the different names for the data. Like I said before, DMAX is the four maximum likelihood, Z for the Bayesian MCMC, and DTT for the L moment. So after we give the different name for the our data, we can easy to use the R programming to the estimate the parameter, use the three kind of the methods. Okay, we can try, we can try the, the first one, we use the L moment method. L moment methods, or we in the article say linear moment. 
or we can say el moment. Okay. The first time you must call the el moment package. El moment part package in air we call the el mom. So don't forget, please find the el mom package and you install in the air programming. Okay. Like, like we have done with success in the install the elmam packet so we call users library elmam library elmam it mean you call again the elmam packets after that to run the elmam don't forget using programming some lmu some lmu it mean this is the first process to try to use the L moment packets. Okay, you use the L mom, you run your L mom, and then if you are use the GEV distribution, it mean the parameter GEV distribution in the R programming use the name PELGEV. PELGEV is this good way when you are trying to make the estimate the parameter of the GEV distribution using the GEV distribution. Okay, you can use the par, this par. You can run here and you can check your program. You can type par in the R programming. Okay, you can check here. There is three the parameter in GEV. There is C parameters, alpha parameters, and kappa parameters. So it's very simple to use the L moment. So that's why we suggest to you, please use the L moment method to solve to the estimate parameter of the GEV distribution. Okay, you can look and check here to very easy to estimate the parameter C, parameter alpha, and the parameter kappa. Okay, after we success the use L moment packets, we must take the one by one, one by one for the each parameter because we need the special name for the each parameter. Like we have done in this reset, we use name the MU2 for the C, theta2 for the theta, and the eta2 for the kappa. Okay, you can run here. You run your programming and you check in the console. Okay, for example, if you type MU2, it means you are must have the C parameter in the GV distribution. And if you use theta2, it means you have the parameter alpha. And if you type the eta2, it means you are have the kappa parameter for GV distribution. Okay. For the L moment methods, we are success to estimate the parameter. The next, we are use the maximum likelihood method. Okay, there is the best one our programming that we have produced about the how to the estimate the parameter of GEP distribution using the maximum likelihood. You can check here. There is a the simple R programming, like the L moment methods, maximum likelihood. We have success to create the R programming that very simple. Okay, we can run our programming, but the first time you must remember the maximum likelihoods is depend on the how to create or the produce the likelihood, log likelihood, the GEV distribution. If you success in produce the log likelihood, the GEV distribution, automatically you success to produce the best R programming to the estimate the parameter. Okay, you can check here. We have the name log leak. Log leak, it means the log likelihood of GEV distribution. You can check in this programming. So very long program because 
we have known the GEV distribution is a very complicated model in the extreme rainfall modeling. The AP is a very complicated GEV distribution depend on the three parameters like I said before, namely C kappa and then C kappa and then alpha. Okay, so we try to run the maximum likelihood program here. So you can run. Okay, so you can check in the console. Yes, we are success to run the maximum likelihood programming. If you want to know the parameter, you type the parameter GEV here. You just you copy only and then you put here and you pass the here. And then you type the enter. You can check here. There is the three parameter for GEV distribution by using maximum likelihood methods. Same as with the L moment methods, the L moment methods have the three parameter for the EV distribution and the maximum likelihood have the three parameter too. But of course, it's different parameter because they have the different methods. Okay, like the L moment, we need give the one by one by one names for the for the each parameter so that why in the maximum likelihood we use the name of theta mu and eta we can run here okay you can check okay if you attach the mu2 it's mean this is the parameters using the l moment but if you types only mu, this is the parameter by using maximum likelihood. So of course, L moment and the maximum likelihood have the different name. L moment we use number two after the name of the parameter. Like mu, we give mu two. Like theta, we give the theta two. Like eta, we give the eta two, eta two. But for the maximum likelihood, we only use the mu, theta, and eta. We don't need the number two because the number two only special for the L moment. Okay, there is the different parameters, of course, different because the L moment and the maximum likelihood is the different method. So, of course, they must give their different value. Okay, we are success to run the maximum likelihood. For the last one, we have the another methods we call the Bayesian MCMC. Bayesian MCMC, it's mean Markov chain Monte Carlo. In the Bayesian MCMC, there is two kind of the R programming. The first one for the prior or the likely the first one for the likelihood and the second one for the prior okay you can check here we have success to produce the Bayesian MCMC program like I said before there is two the part programming the one the first program this is the four likelihood and the second program is the four the prior okay for the more information about the bayesian mcmc we have discussed with the long time in the www.radoinstitute.com you can come to the website and you can check in the international research class there is some program we are discuss about the bayesian mcmc for that why for this time we are not give the complex the information again about the Bayesian MCMC because we have discussed with the very complicated in another time. Okay, like I said before, please come to the www.radoinstitute.com and you can find in the menu of the international research class, you can check here 
about the Bayesian MCMC. So that why for this time we run only our program and we make comparison with the another methods. Okay, we run our program here. Don't forget, run the programming. This is long programming, of course, long programming because we are need a very complicated, very complicated R programming here. Okay, we run our programming here. Okay, we can check in the console. So text and need the long time to the process because like I say before, Bayesian MCMC need 30,000 running programming or in the statistic, we say burning, burning program, 30,000 burning program. You can imagine that. So very long time and then need the long time. Okay, we have success to the run programming, the run the R programming for the Bayesian MCMC. We can check here. When we I use the number two for the its name variable, it's mean come from the L moment methods. But when we give the number one for the each parameter name, it mean it's come from the Bayesian MCMC methods. For example, when I type the MU1, MU, and I give the number one, it means the parameter MU for the EP distribution that we produce by the Bayesian MCMC. If I type MU2, it means I try to produce or the try to the estimate the EP distribution use the L moment methods. So there is different MU1 and MU2. But if I type only MU, no number one, no number two, only MU, it means this parameter mu from the GEV distribution that we produce using the maximum likelihood method. Okay, this very nice information about the, the difference of the parameter of GEV distribution. Okay. We have success to run the program of the three methods in the estimate the parameter. L moment, Bayesian MCMC, and likelihood. And then for the last time, the last one, we try to check which one the best from the three methods in the estimate the parameter. So that why we are use the graphic technique using the cumulative plot. Okay. The more information about the cumulative plot you can find in the www.radoinstitute.com. You can find in the international research class. You can take the more information about the technique graphic to the max comparison to try to find the best one of the modeling. Okay. So very nice information here. So in this time, we only run our programming for the information. You can come to the www.radoinstitute.com. Okay. Don't forget, when we I use the cumulative plot, the first time we are need the symbol symbol i i it means the number one until the length data if you have the city data automatically i is mean the number one until the city and don't forget give n and it means the length data length data is mean if you have the city data so the length data it means city data so we have the FF. FF is mean the cumulative observation. Cumulative observation is mean the cumulative comes from the real data. We are use the formula I minus 0 0.5 divide N. And then we are use the formula for the cumulative, the three formula for the cumulative DEV distribution. Like in this program, you can check here in our R programming, 
we give name GEV, it means the cumulative using maximum likelihood. GEVB, it means the cumulative GEV distribution using the Bayesian MCMC technique. And GEVL, it means the cumulative GEP distribution using the L moment. You can find the difference here. You can check here. If we are use the GEV maximum likelihood, only use the name of the parameter eta, mu, theta. No number one and no number two here. But if we are produce the cumulative GEP distribution using the Bayesian MCMC, for the each parameter, we give the number one. So you can check here if the eta one, it means the parameter eta produced by the Bayesian MCMC methods. And then for GEVL, it means the cumulative GEP distribution produced by the L moment methods. So in the formula, you can check there is number two for the each parameter, like the eta 2. Eta 2 is mean the parameter eta for the EV distribution that's produced by using the linear moment method. So very clearly information here. Okay, we run our program here. Run program and train and then you can check in the result. Okay, you can check here. There is the three colors here. The blue ones, it means the cumulative GEP distribution that produced by using the maximum likelihood. The red one, it means the cumulative GEP distribution produced by the Bayesian MCMC methods. And the green one, it means the GEV, the cumulative GEV distribution that produced using the L moment methods. So we can check here. The blue one is the best when we are make the comparison with the other methods. So it's our discussion today. We believe that the maximum likelihood still give the best way in the estimate the parameter of the, the extreme value distribution. And this result, same result with the reset article that we use in this our discussion today. So it's mean our discussion today is very success to use the three kind of the methods to the estimate extreme to the estimate GEV distribution for the extreme rainfall in Pekanbaru. Okay, for the, our student or for the other researchers who need the R programming, you can contact here. You can contact the Rado Institute and we try to give you the best art programming that we are produced. Okay, you okay. We will try to make this slowly our the art programming, and you can check at your home, of course. Okay, this plan. Okay, the programming start with the call the data, and then after we are success call the data, we try to extract data. Extract data is mean we only need the maximum only for the each years. We have produced the good R programming to take the maximum for the each years data. Okay, after that, the first time we use the element methods to the estimate the parameter. Don't forget, you must install the element packets in your R software. Okay, after that, we are used the maximum likelihood. You can check here. There is the nice programming. You can use this art programming to solve your problem. If you have the reset about the extreme data, you can use the our art programming. You can check here. Okay, we can open by slowly. 
and then you can use this programming at your home. Okay, this is okay. So the last one for the Bayesian MCMC, of course, is the Bayesian MCMC. You remember that the first one we run the programming of the likelihood, and the second programming we burning until thirty thousand. Because this is a theoretical, okay? The theoretical say like that, okay? So you can check here. We have the produce, the best art programming, okay? I think our our discussion, our discussion today is a very very good discussion. I hope what we done, what we have done today, can help you to produce the best research or to max the the report of of yours uh of your jobs maybe you have the ha, ha, homeworks from your uh, lecture or another's uh another's I, I don't know that okay i think enough what is today radoyendra internet international research class